And for more on this, I'm joined by Congressman Steve Cohen of Tennessee. Congressman, you sit on the Helsinki Commission, which helps from foreign policy regarding security in Europe. How do you expect our European allies and others to respond to a tweet like this? I think they're going to be confused about uh, America's future and our goals in Europe. You know, the, the, the president-elect has questioned NATO. I have visited uh, Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia. Those people are very concerned about the Russian presence on their borders, the, the games their airplanes play buzzing over their, their countries and, and, and threatening their, uh, their air forces. Uh, I'm sure the people in, in Ukraine, where I've also visited, are concerned, and Georgia, they're concerned. Uh, the, the big picture is human rights and world peace are at stake. And we have a president who is like none other. And some people might think that's good. It concerns me greatly. Uh, one thing you, you learn in life, you learn in Congress, is you have to ex have advice from people who have expertise. And, and that can hone your positions and make you a better uh, public servant. Do you feel you like he's getting that advice? I, I certainly don't. I think he's just coming out with 140 carats and tweeting. And uh, this is a danger because you've got crazy people in North Korea that could see that tweet and respond to it in some way. And we could have a, a, a real uh, a nuclear problem, a war on our hands. There are all kind of problems we can have. And somebody needs to get this man. But, but I don't know that you can do it. The, the man is a very self-centered individual. And, and he's getting the attention that he wants. Uh, it's unfortunate. I do think that he, he should not be doing this during this transition period. We have a president, and he shouldn't be tweeting about the United Nations and Israel. He shouldn't be tweeting about nuclear arsenals, and he should have tweeted about the drone in China. What do you make this of the argument? This is kind of like the, well, what do you make of the argument that the Trump transition uh, is making that this is a time to get around this president to ensure that he has uh, an ability to succeed, uh, and that he has the support he needs to lead this country. We've seen something of that from President Obama refusing to go after Donald Trump repeatedly, trying to make the transition as smooth as possible. Do you think it's time to rally around him, or is it time to second-guess him? Well, I think you've got to represent your constituency and, your, and, your, and, your, and what you've learned, your experiences, and, and I think that you've, you've got to question what he's doing. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I represent a, a district that needs a lot of federal aid. I think if you put all this money into these nuclear weapons, you're, you're not going to have money for, for WIC and SNAP and uh, uh, LIHEAP and programs that are important here. Uh, it's a big opportunity cost in the budget. I, I do think that you have to question his priorities and you have to question what he's doing, but I don't know that he's serious about the nuclear. Bob Gates said we should modernize to, to maintain our strength, and maybe modernizing is strengthening. But the big question is, does he have the temperament to have the nuclear uh, codes? And that's going to be dependent, as, as Bob Gates said, on who his advisors are and if he listens to them. I'm afraid he doesn't. I'm afraid he's too impulsive. And Aldous Huxley may understand him. Fellini might understand him. I don't understand him. The American public's in for a rocky ride, and hopefully Mother Earth can survive the next four years. Representative Steve Cohen, thank you so much for joining me. Now to breaking news.